church friends, Chris and Leah, Leah. here, and uh, we're here today because unfortunately we can't get together in person, but we wanted to do a craft activity um, and something that you might have fun with doing at home. So what we're making today is this pretty cross, uh, which involves doing some finger painting and uh, also some cutting and painting. Hopefully you're going to have all the things that you need at home. Uh, Leah will run through with you what bits and pieces that you need yeah. and uh, just to quickly say what we're doing this for, what it all means. Um, what we've put on the lovely cross is we've put a heart in there to signify God's love for us and we've put a flower on the bottom there to show that um, God gave us hope and Jesus gave us hope by dying on the cross and then rising to new life on, on the Easter Sunday and uh, he showed us that there's life after death and we can see that all around us at the moment with um, spring starting to happen and flowers are coming out so it's a time of joy. Anyway, we'll crack on and Leah will show you what you need to do this activity. Yeah. So you will need a palette or some paints of any colour that you like. You will need a long ruler, a pencil, a glue stick, some scissors, a hole puncher, or something to make a hole. Yeah. A paintbrush, also a cup or something to put or your jam water in. jar or something to put yeah. some water in. Um, and some kitchen foil. Uh, some ribbon of any colour. Or some string if you don't have any ribbon available. Yeah. Also some card. Just some plain white card or some paper if you don't have card. Yeah. Okay then, so let's get started. So what we did first of all is we drew a cross on some white card and it made it a nice chunky cross so that you can do lots of lovely finger painting. And then what we did is we, before we did anything else, we covered the back in silver foil just so we've got a nice kind of shimmery back to it. And then we put a hole through the top. So you'll need, need an adult probably to help you with that, um, to line up the hole punch or use something sharp that an adult can do to help you do that. Yeah. Once we did that, here's someone I prepared earlier, <laughs> we then cut it all out. And so what you've got is you've got a cross with a hole at the top and it's covered in silver foil at the back. So, so far so good, hopefully. Um, and then Leah is going to demonstrate what you now do with that cross to actually get the paint all over it. So, yes. Leah, do you want to show everyone how to do it? So, you get your palette or paints. You dip your finger in the water. Then you pick which colour you want. Then press down on it very hard. Or probably swirl your finger. Yeah, nice, swirl so. on it the finger that you have a nice paint on your finger. And just spread your fingerprints all around uh, the cross. And just make... I'm going to join in because it's rain fun. A rainbow <laughs> or just... I like purple, so I'm going to do some purple ones. So just we're just going to... Any... Colour that you want. And then you can wipe your fingers off on kitchen roll in between time so you don't mess up all your paints and get different colours on them. Yeah. So you just dab, dab, dab as much as you like. Yeah. This is really lovely and messy and fun. Yeah. Make sure you cover most of the white. We don't want any of the white showing or most of it. So it wants to be very colourful. It's my quality control person here. <laughs> So dab, 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 as much as you like. You can ask your parents to help you. They would love to, probably. They would love to. No one cannot like doing this. It's such fun. Getting lovely and messy, lovely yep. painting. So we're already doing quite well. We've got quite a lot of paint on here. It doesn't take long to build up the colour. And it's quite nice, actually, if you've got a bit of water on your finger, that some of the colours run together and you come up with new colours. So that's quite nice, too. Quite satisfying. Make sure like you dig your finger right in, otherwise it'll come out really watery and you won't be able to see the colour. Mm -hmm. Good advice there. 
Okay, so I think you probably get the idea. Is so far, we, it hasn't taken us long, and we're already no. like that, but we kind of like it to end up more like that. So you've got yeah. loads of colour on it, and of course it's more fun the more you do as well. And it's okay if you overlap the uh, colours, because yeah. it will just blend together and make it nice. It is nice. So the next thing we did is we used the offcuts from uh, what you cut off the cross. So we had bits, you'll have bits like that left over. So I don't know if you can see, but what I did, I first of all folded the paper in half and then I drew a half a heart. So it looks kind of a bit like an ear. Um, you can see that. And then when you cut it out and open it up, of course you'll end up with the other half of the heart over here. It saves you drawing a whole heart, which doesn't come out very evenly if you try and do it freehand. So we did that. Also, there's another off cut that you can use and you can just draw a flower, any shape of flower you like on there. Just make it roughly the same size as the heart. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to paint, to colour in. We coloured in our heart bright red and Leah coloured in, or painted I should say, she painted the flower a mixture of orange and sort of pinky red colour. You can do it whatever colour you like. Yeah. And then we glued them on, so just glued the heart in the middle and the flower on the bottom, but you could do it however you like. You could even dangle them off of here maybe if you wanted to, or just hang them off of the top, however yeah. you really want to do it. But we quite like putting the heart in the middle, um, just to remind us of Jesus' love and God's love in the middle there. And new life at the bottom, represented by our lovely flower. And then the last thing that we did, was, um, which I'll show you how to do, is just to put... The ribbon at the top so what we did I'll use this one that we've got here so what you want to do is double your ribbon over and then you can just feed that doubled over ribbon through the hole like that and you'll have a loop so just put the two ends through the loop hope you're seeing this okay and pull and then you can you've got it to dangle and then You'll be able to, um, and then just put a knot at the other end, yeah. like that. So you can hang it out of your win window or a wall. You can hang it, yes, in the window maybe, or against a wall. Or, and if it turns around, it sort of shimmers in the light, so that's quite nice as well. So yeah, I think that's all the stages we covered. Um, yeah, you'll end up with one like this, hopefully. But we hope you have great fun doing it. And uh, sorry we're not there to do it with you, but we're looking forward to seeing you really soon. Yeah. And um, just to say Happy Easter. Happy Easter! <laughs>